Hello dear friends. Today, I'm sharing an exciting tutorial on how to remove prominent blemishes and retouch photos. Before we begin, keep in mind that if you skip parts of the video, you may miss key steps. Watch till the end and get an amazing result. Ideas graphics. To start, duplicate the image so that changes are not applied to the original layer. Then, using the patch tool, select the areas with blemishes and drag them to parts of the skin with similar texture. Perform this carefully on all the areas you want to adjust. For more precision, I recommend zooming in on the image to have better control over the details. Completing this step takes about 5 minutes, depending on the amount of freckles and your precision. To speed up the process, I'll increase the video speed, but make sure to watch carefully how I perform this step. This tutorial isn't just for watching. Practice is key to mastering these techniques. If you have any questions, drop a comment, and I'll be happy to help. Maybe you're wondering why I don't select all the blemishes at once with the patch tool. Well, pay close attention. If I select a lot of blemishes at once, the result won't be smooth and natural. That's why I take more control and select the blemishes one by one, dragging them to areas of the skin with a similar texture. Let me share an important tip. In photo editing, patience and attention to detail are key. You might be tempted to rush through, but remember, quality matters more than speed. If you've made it this far, it means you're truly interested in learning. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this technique before. Now, let's move on to the next step. I create two duplicates of the image and temporarily disable one. Then, I go to the filter menu, navigate to noise and select median. I adjust the radius until the skin blemishes appear smooth and even. Next, I go back to filtered noise and choose add noise, applying a suitable amount of noise to the image. Then, I return to the filter menu once again, and this time apply a proper amount of Gaussian blur to soften the noise. Alright so far, everything is going well. Now, I activate the top duplicate layer, and set its blend mode to linear light. Then, I go to the filter menu, navigate to other, and apply a suitable amount of high pass to enhance the skin texture as needed. So far, I think everything is going really well. Now, by holding control and left clicking on both layers, I select them and group them using the control plus G shortcut. Then, I double click on the group layer to open the layer style, blending options, panel, and adjust the underlying layer slider as needed. Pay close attention to the changes in this section to better understand its functionality. And as a reminder, to split and move the underlying layer slider smoothly, hold Alt, then left click and drag it left or right according to the needs of the image. Pay close attention to the changes in this section to better understand its functionality. The work isn't finished yet, but the result looks amazing so far. Now while holding Alt, I left click to create a black mask on the group. Then, using the brush tool, I paint over the necessary areas to refine the result and achieve a better outcome. This is the final step. Use the brush tool carefully and with precision. If needed, adjust the brush size or opacity to achieve the best result. To quickly change the brush size, use the open bracket key to decrease the brush size. Use the close bracket key to increase the brush size. How to work with masks in Photoshop. When you create a layer mask, you essentially add an auxiliary layer that hides or reveals parts of the image without permanently deleting any pixels. To hide parts of the image. If you want to hide a section of the image, select the black color for the brush and paint on the mask. Wherever you paint with black, that part of the image will become invisible. To bring back hidden parts. If you want to restore a part of the image that was previously hidden, switch the brush color to white and paint on the mask. Wherever you paint with white, the hidden section will be visible again. For adjusting transparency, Fade if you want to make part of the image semi-transparent fade. You can reduce the brush opacity or use gray colors to softly blend the area, making it fade naturally. Important tip, be sure to select the mask, not the layer itself, before you start brushing. To do this, click on the thumbnail of the mask in the layers panel, and you'll see a white border appear around it. This area, highlighted in yellow, can be easily softened if any part of the skin texture looks similar. You can use the clone stamp tool to gently blend and smooth it. Make sure to select a soft brush and sample a nearby area with a similar texture by holding Alt, Option on Mac, and clicking on a clean spot. Then, carefully paint over the area to achieve a natural and seamless result. Now, 
Let's take a look at the before and after of the retouching. You can see the remarkable difference, right? The more we practice, the better the final result will be. Dear followers, on this channel, we upload two new tutorials every week on professional retouching and advertising design. Soon, I'll be preparing more specialized tutorials on photo editing and design just for you. What type of content do you enjoy the most? Your feedback is valuable to us, so please leave your suggestions in the comments. If you find this channel's content useful, don't forget to subscribe and share these tutorials with friends who are interested in learning. With your support, we'll continue making the learning journey more engaging and professional. Learning new skills takes time, but every step you take makes you more professional. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to check out the next videos. Until the next lesson, stay creative and keep practicing. Ideas Graphics